Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are in Wesley Chapel, Florida. This is a suburb of Tampa. Uh, Tampa's pretty big, it covers a couple counties. We're in Pasco County. And we are at uh, a home where we're gonna do a whole bunch of waterproofing. Take a look. So the first thing that you should do when you get out to your job site or at your own home is find these water meters so that you're able to shut that water off because here in the south, these water lines are only a shovel deep. And you can see all of the utilities out here. We've got power, we've got gas, the gas runs across. We're gonna do that other side too. We've got telephone that runs up through here, all through this area. What we're gonna do is start in the back. Let's walk back there. We're gonna start way back here in the back. And we're gonna start with a French drain. It's gonna start right here at the corner, picking up that pool and eye channel drain. It's gonna come out, pick up the downspouts. The homeowner already started a little trench. We'll follow some of that, send it all the way out there to the street. We're also going to parge this wall. We're gonna dig down to the footer. We're gonna seal that wall. We're gonna seal that wall, put the liquid rubber up on it. This line goes all the way around the front. It's a long ways actually starts right here. We'll pick up this downspout as well and send that out. But a lot of prep work, pull back all the mulch. You can see all the irrigation in the way. We'll take care of all that, connect all the downspouts, parge this wall, put in our easy flow, that's our French drain. This is side one. So we're gonna do the other side as well, almost identical to this side. So rather difficult to see, but can you see that red line? And then you see the orange line over here. And even though they've got a flag over there, what they're telling us is that this cable runs all down through here. <laughs> and it's not deep, not deep at all. Remember, uh, the red is electric and you can see that. And of course you can see the electric meter over here as well. And all the telephone and internet that comes up to the side of the house. Gotta be very careful as you dig always call and get them located. So over here on this beginning of this parging of the wall, this is Brian, he's the homeowner, and he actually decided to help us, which is really great. We always give him that opportunity, give him a shovel. Of course we'll take that extra label. That's always great. <laughs> he says hi. So what he's doing is he's pulling back the mulch, just getting it out of the way, because it's difficult to dig through mulch or gravel. You can see he had some landscape fabric there, pull that back. We'll come around the side and again we'll parge this entire wall all the way back to the lanai we'll put that sump basin right up here by the plug when we get to that point we'll seal that wall these guys are making quick work of this you can see how quickly we can dig this it is a little bit easier it just rained so that does make it a lot easier where chuck's digging there's actually a rise here so we're going to be quite deep through there in order to keep our gravity the gravity flow from back here in the back where the line starts and you can see we kind of followed the homeowner's path which is fine this is all going to be french drain here and we'll start right here with the channel drain by putting a catch basin down here to pick up that lanai channel drain very important when it rains brian remember we just met brian the homeowner he says that water comes right up to the step to get inside those paddy sliding glass doors. It's actually higher here to the pool. No water has flooded the pool yet, but it does flood up this direction. We need to take care of that. We need to have a discharge. Discharge is the most important thing. Yes, you need collection, of course, but we can clean this line with the jetter to make sure it's working good. Okay, we're just gonna review what we've got going on. You can see the downspout. We're gonna have a line come off of that lanai, pick up this channel drain. It comes down through here. Over here, we're gonna switch over to easy flow and make this a French drain. And we are running that little section of downspout through the line, it's not gonna hurt anything. But we've gotta get deep enough that this has gravity out to the street. It's very close. This line will probably run level, but it's still gonna work really good. So I had a chance to come back. We call this double down, do, do twice as deep. They're coming through there. And once he finishes that up, he'll catch up to the other portion of the trench up here. 
but we're already doubled down. Just finish this last little section. And we'll discharge right there at the end. Meanwhile, over here on the front bay window, Brian's doing a great job over there. Chuck's doing a great job. We're just getting it right down to the footer. And you can see that root system. Look at that root system as it's traveling under that footer. A lot of water passes on those roots as they go under. And we just want to chop those off. That section does not get cleared or does not get covered with liquid rubber. It's from the footer up, from the, that seam of the footer up the wall. And we'll come up a few inches above this natural grade because we're going to backfill it and it'll settle back down on top of it. This is a very large job. You're only seeing you know, a small portion of it here in this video. Materials, they're going to add up. You could be up there around 3,000 for all these materials. And a lot of that is the quick and easy. That stuff, is it works so good, but it is costly. It's also something that the homeowner still can do themselves. You know, break this apart. Basically, there's going to be four different lines here. So there's four different jobs, and you can do this. So I really like to use the quick and easy drain. You can see it right here. And people get that confused. They think that's not a French drain. Well, it is a French drain, and it's totally wrapped. It's totally wrapped. If you're going to do a French drain in the sand, you need to wrap that entire French drain. What's nice about the quick and easy is it's self-contained. We've got a 10-foot section of French drain. And I have found over the years, years, that the styrofoam peanuts that are inside here, they work great. And it lives up to their name. What they say, they say that it's 30% faster. 30% better than gravel and it is it is so much faster than gravel it takes so much more water this thing works great but don't get confused this is a self-contained section of French drain makes it very easy for both the contractor and the homeowner but you notice it is totally wrapped I'm not saying don't wrap your fabric I'm saying in the clay you better double check but in the sand you need to wrap the system there's no doubt so over here where Brian Dougie did a great job. Look at that professional first day on the job. <laughs> he did a great job. Remember, Brian's the homeowner and he asked if he could help because he wanted to learn. He wanted to learn how to do this and he did a great job. So he's got this whole section all dug out. And so tomorrow when we come back or Saturday, um, we'll charge this wall, put our sump basin in. Sump pump's going to lift that water up and send it over to this pipe over here. Back through here is French drain, but up here is solid pipe. We've, we've collected the water. We've collected the water in the back. Now we want to keep it. So we're going to switch over to solid pipe somewhere in here, and then it'll be solid out to where it goes to the discharge out there by the walk. So now we start backfilling. You really want to pay real close attention and keep them straight. It's, it is important to stand on the pipe as you cover it up. So even if you got your shoes on, Brian, just pull the dirt right over on you. And um, until you get some weight on it, once you get weight on it, it's fine. Yeah. So you can see we've got a real nice French drain. We'll use some risers to bring up the catch basin. And from here, we're going to switch over to solid pipe. So I had the guys unroll the pipe. Now I'll run solid pipe all the way out. So the hardest thing about your entire install is backfill because it's super hot, you're tired from digging, and this sun is brutal. I would imagine here in full sun, about 110, humidity 110%, it's brutal. Take your time, cover it up, and you'll do a nice job. So tomorrow when we come back, we are start on this side. And I always like to take a picture and a video, which I'm doing, to show where these markings are because they're getting weak. You can see that orange marking. They've still got the flags, but they're getting wet. They're getting worn off. And it's only been a couple of days. <laughs> the big one over here is that gas line. And there's only a couple of flags. Very, not very well marked at all. I don't see any markings through here at all. Only flags. But we do know that it comes right up here to the gas meter. We know that, of course. But it's nice when they mark the line, they got one dot right here. That's it. 
I don't see any more markings in this yard at all. We are going to hook up the AC condensation. You can see that water that just continues to drip day in, day out, 24 hours a day. And I can actually see where it's killing, killing so much water. This St. Augustine grass. It's pretty hard to kill St. Augustine, but that's overwatered. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. You are building the French drain wrong. Only I can build a French drain. You know, we get so many email requests now asking for Sideshow Bob. We decided to go ahead and give him his own French Drain channel. Check it out in the description box below. Sideshow Bob.